Okay, so if you're given the percent, and we're going to be looking at percent a lot in this uh, unit as well, how did you go from a percent to a decimal? How did you convert a percent into a decimal? Divided to a hundred. Good. Okay, everyone want to make a note of that? Divide by a hundred. Why are we dividing by a hundred? Think about it. If you get perfect on a test, what's percent always out of? A hundred percent. So 75% means, then this is the fraction part, 75 out of 100, right? That means 75%. Percent's always out of 100. Whenever you have a fraction, to turn that into a decimal, you take the numerator, so 75, and you divide it by the denominator. So if you have a calculator, take it out. 75 divided by 100, and we'll get 0 decimal 75. Okay, now I'm assuming the part that we're struggling with was putting this into lowest terms. What does that mean, lowest terms? Does anyone remember what this means? Or you're looking for um, a way that you can reduce this. So you're looking for a number that 75 can be divided by evenly without getting a decimal. You never have a decimal in a fraction, okay? And, another, and the same number that goes into 100 evenly. Well, you can start with... Think of um, 75, what's the, what does it end in? What digit? Five. Ends in a 5, and 100 ends in a 0. Anything that ends in a 5 or 0 is divisible by what number? What, can, what number can go into both of these? Yep. Okay, so both of these numbers are divisible by 5. So I want you to punch it on your calculator. 75 divided by 5 is equal to what? 15, okay. And 100 divided by 5 is? 20. Do you think that this is in lowest terms right now? We can keep reducing this. This ends in a 5 and this ends in a 0 still. So that means they can be divided by what again? By 5. What's punch it into your calculator. What's 15 divided by 5? And 20 divided by 5? 3 over 4. Can we reduce that even more? Or is that where we have to stop? That's where we're going to stop. That's the lowest terms because 3 and 4 can't be divided by any other numbers that are the same, except for um, 1, right? But anything divided by 1 is still the answer itself. Okay, so for the second example, any time you have percent, percent is always out of 100. So 5% means 5 out of 100. What are you going to divide the numerator and denominator by? What are both of these numbers divisible by? Five. five again, just, okay. What's five divided by five? And 100 divided by five? 20. Can I reduce this anymore? No, this is lowest terms, good. Okay. And what you're doing here is you're coming up with equivalent fractions. See this equal sign? If I say that I have five out of 100, it's the same as saying one out of 20 as a fraction first. Nine percent is always out of, yeah, exactly, it's always out of 100. So 90% is equal to 90 out of 100. Now for this one, both of these end in a zero, okay? So they're, they are divisible by five, but they're also divisible by what other number? What can you divide any number that ends in a zero by? Five. And what a higher number? Ten. Ten, good. So let's... What's 90 divided by 10? Hey. Okay, you got 9 out of 10. How do you know this is lowest terms, though? How do you know you can't reduce it anymore? Um, is there anything that you can divide both numbers by? The same number? No. You can, but it ends up being a decimal. You're right. Good. 4% equals what as a fraction? 4 out of? 100, right? Percent's always out of 100. Now, is would this be equal to 0 0.4 as a decimal? Is that correct? Good. Punch this in on your calculator right now. 4 divided by 100 equals 0 decimal 0 0.04. That's 4%. That's 4 out of 100. Okay? And then in lowest terms, um, Rico, what did you divide both numbers by? I divided it by 4. Good. Can you divide the numerator by 4 and then divide the denominator by something else? No, that won't be equivalent. If you divide them both by the same number, you're writing an equivalent fraction. So 4 divided by 4, 1 out of 25. Good. Made with DoodleCast Pro.